To start off, I've added a product with carousel component to my project. In product on the left side, I've gone into config on the right side and selected the product which I would like displayed. In this case, it's the Replo crew neck. Now if we press preview, we can see what this current component looks like. We can toggle between the different images for this product using the icons at the bottom. And we can also do the same thing with the left and right arrows. Now, I would like to create custom scrolling indicators for these, and I would like those indicators to be the images that we just saw. Now I can do that by first duplicating our carousel slides. Next, on the right side in config, I'm going to toggle on use custom configuration. Next, I'm going to use an auto slide style to have all the slides appear at the same time. Now, these current images are a little bit large, so I'm going to go and set a, both a max width and max height for each of these images. And let's have that be 100 pixels. Now this looks closer to what we want to accomplish. If we press preview, we can see that we have a carousel at the bottom that when clicked on, changes the carousel at the top. Now let's delete the previous button and the next button along with our old indicators so we have a cleaner page to work with. Now let's make some small changes. First for the carousel slides themselves, I feel like these icons are a little bit too close to each other. On the right side, I'm going to add a 20 pixel gap between each of them to space these out better. Next, I feel like these images should be a little bit larger when they're the current ones selected. In order to achieve this, I'm going to create a new state. This state is going to be called active. And we're going to select current item is active as a condition. Next, we're going to go down to 2D, 3D transform. And in transformation, we're going to add a new transformation called scale. And we'll make it 150%. Now, if we go to preview, we can see what this looks like. We have the icons at the bottom that, when selected, cause this icon to be 150% the size of the other items inside of the carousel itself. And there we have it. We've created a carousel with custom scrolling indicators and applied a transformation to change the icon based off of its state.